Good afternoon, YouTube. I want to go over a couple of things that uh, pertain to the situation in Ferguson. And how I, what I want to cover is, is how Ferguson, Missouri, and the riots and the uprising and the the continued tensions, I would say, is a really good wake-up call for preppers. And I'll tell you what I mean by that. You're seeing in the wake of the looting and the burning and the riots, you're seeing that the police are unable to protect the store owners, some of their businesses, and in some cases, as was the case of two supporters of the officer last night, who were almost lynched right in, right in the middle of the street for simply exercising their constitutional rights, they're unable to almost protect the public from this whole chaos. If they had not have been there or come in time at the last minute, I do believe those two people would have been beaten or killed. Uh, you can disagree as much as you want, though that crowd was going to turn rough really fast. But getting back to my point, um, you're seeing people running to the gun stores and trying to buy whatever they can to defend themselves and uh, to their businesses. They should have done that a long time ago. Um, the time to buy guns and ammunition is long past. Anyone who has tried to buy any of these in recent memory uh, knows exactly what I'm talking about. Because, let me show you the price on this here. Those days are gone, and they are gone for good. You are never going to see that ever again when it comes to 22 ammunition. Um, when it comes to handgun and rifle ammunition, I've told people for the last couple of years... If you have anything that's a center fire, reload and start reloading. I, uh, I, I hand load my own ammunition. I have for some time. Um, these are bullets that I cast myself. I can cast a couple hundred of these in an hour or so. I have plenty of brass. I have plenty of primers. I have plenty of powder. I am pretty much self-sufficient right now. And I do not understand why people have waited and continue to wait. I'm on a shoestring budget myself. I understand it's not the most um, cost-effective when you first start hand-loading, but it gets there. You don't need to buy a fancy reloading outfit. You don't need a Dellen. You don't need an RCBS. I reload everything with a Lyman 3, 310. I have been doing that now for quite some time. I also have a Lee hand press. I don't even have a bench anymore. Um, but getting, getting aside from the guns and ammunition, there are other things you should be stockpiling as well or keeping at least in your house. And not just for Ferguson or situations like that. Prepper does not necessarily mean you're prepping for the worst case scenario. You're prepping for something where you can't get to the stores. Do you think people right now in Ferguson, Missouri can get to the stores as they want to? No, because they've been looted or burned. Um, people should be putting away food stocks. Um, you know, if something happens and you can't get to your get to the store, what are you gonna eat? I mean, those right there are not gonna last me a long time, but that's for some people that's two meals. If you know what you're doing and you can make it last. Um, people should be doing this. Bottled water. Takes nothing. Take a soda bottle. I have a lot more of these and this is just a smaller one. But I use the two liters. Fill them up when I can, put a couple drops of bleach on them, and I write the date on the top of the cap so I know when I did it. It's inexcusable to not be doing these things. Not in this day and age. Not with the, with the natural disasters. And I've got news for you people in Missouri, anywhere near Ferguson or St. Louis. If the grand jury refuses to indict that cop, or say he goes to trial and he's acquitted, what you've seen as far as riots and looting is going to pale in comparison with what's going to come next. I guarantee it. I mean, anyone who remembers the 92 L.A. riots, um, that happened so fast, so quick, and got so out of hand that, you know, you, you saw what was going on. So, there, for a prepper right now, this is a wake-up call. Get your house in order. Get your crap together, and you better start doing it now because if more outbreaks and we have more issues like what's happening in Ferguson, I believe we will. They're getting fewer or getting more frequent, 
and more violent every time. So I think what should happen is people better start getting their house in order, getting their things together. Start doing it now. Don't wait till the last minute because you're not going to have anything to get. So, again, this is a wake-up call for the preppers and for people who are thinking about becoming a prepper. Start getting your supplies together now. You don't have to buy anything really expensive. Uh, look around, shop around, and get your things together because now is the time.